Again, I know there's many professing Christians on this campus. I know that. My heart grieves over the, law, over the lawlessness that I see in America. My heart grieves over all the sin and wickedness in this culture. It breaks my heart. So I come to you today with a broken heart. I come to you today very grieved. I've grown up in a nation that hates God. I've grown up in a nation that has turned its back against God. And the ultimate evidence of this rebellion is what you see on these signs. Nothing shows a rebellion more than the images displaying the sufferings of our murdered neighbors. Nothing shows it more. This is the call to repentance, to repent with the street preachers. This is the call to repent of our sins. You look hella stupid. This is a call to repent with us. This is not a call to repent because we're better than you. No. We're asking you to repent with us because we love you. We love you. You're our fellow man. There's so many gods, whatever you If any one of you are open to conversation, we'll talk to you. This is your pre-born neighbor, folks. This is your this is your neighbor. Do you love your neighbor as yourself? Do you care about God? Some of you will say there is no God. Well, you know there you know God exists. Multiple, multiple so many people say that there's many gods that exist. You know there's one true God, the Lord Jesus Christ, who proved that he was who he said he was. Folks, consider today, ask yourself, where will I go when I die? Folks, the chief end of man, the reason that you're all here is to glorify God and enjoy him forever. That's why we all exist. That's why we're all here, is to glorify God and enjoy Him forever. Look at the doofus! What's up with you, dumbass? Don't try me calling a doofus. I'm the gospel of Jesus Christ. Come out your nose. Wipe your fucking nose, buddy. This is a call to repent. Repent with us. Repent and believe in the gospel. The Lord Jesus Christ said, when He began His earthly ministry, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Have you done that, folks? Have you repented and believed in the gospel? Yes, I see that the Bible is true right now on the college campus here in Pro-Life, Oklahoma. I see how true the Bible is. I see that men are ungrateful, unholy, unloving. They don't love the word of God being proclaimed. They don't love people being warned about hell. People being warned if they continue in their sins that they're going to die and go to hell. No. That is the most loving thing that we can do for you, folks. That is the most loving thing that we can do for you. We can give you kind words. Words that mean nothing that will come for you and your sin. But we love you too much to do that. We love you too much to do that, folks. Yes, what is love? What is love in this country? We have a we have a holiday in this country where we celebrate love. But what is true love? What is true love? God talks about what love is. The Bible says the God is love. And yet so many people they define they think they can define what what, what love is. They think that they can define what is truth. What is sin? What is right from wrong? But God defines what is right from wrong. God defines what is sin. What is sin? But lawlessness, violating the law of God, the Ten Commandments, the law of God written on your heart. You have a conscience. We all have a conscience that tells us right from wrong, good from evil. Again, if you think you're a good person, examine yourself according to the law of God. See what God says about himself, what God says about man, what God says about you. Are you open to a conversation? Are you open to a conversation? If you're what's in heaven, then I don't want to be there. If you guys are what's going to be in heaven, I hope I go to fucking hell. I really do. What's up with the 